Welcome everybody to the very first video of Be an Innovator. Amp up your awesome admin superpowers by delivering innovation with Einstein Prediction Builder and Discovery. We are kicking off a six part video series where we will build an AI powered app from start to finish. Watch the video, share your progress online and enter to win prizes. Now for this adventure, we are helping a very special company called Cloudy's Candies and they sell um, a candy box subscription. And we wanna make sure that they have happy, loyal customers. And so you can build this app along with us, exactly, or you can show us your creativity by making tweaks along the way. For day one, we are taking the very first step by identifying the problem. And I am super excited to hear from Principal Admin Evangelist, Leanne Rimel, and product marketing manager Ayori Selassie about business problems that we can solve with AI. Let's hear from them. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm so excited to be here and to be joined by Ayori as we build AI apps. So Rebecca introduced our company, Cloudy's Candies. And what we're gonna be doing today is talking more about what is the business of Cloudy's Candies. Sounds delicious. Yum. What are some business problems they're encountering today and how we as admins start thinking about how do we solve those problems and how do we better understand those problems so we can solve them for all of our companies. So first up, let's talk a little bit more about Cloudy's Candies um, and not just that it sounds delicious. So <laughs> Cloudy's Candies is a subscription candy box company. So they have customers all over the world that they send boxes of mixed candy options to on a regular basis, depending on their subscription. So they're tracking a ton of information about their customers, such as their billing preferences, their subscription preferences, how long they've been a customer, as well as, of course, their candy preferences and maybe things they like or dislike and any allergies and additional information to make sure that every Cloudy's Candies customer is getting just the right box of candy. So this is a great company and it's a business model that is similar to a lot of our companies out there, a lot of our customers. They are tracking customers, they're tracking customer needs, and they're storing all of that information in Salesforce. They're using Salesforce to drive their business. However, Cloudy's has some business problems that they're encountering that might be obstacles as they try to grow and be successful. And I already know you've spent a lot of time understanding these business issues and many companies' business issues. Um, what are some of the issues that Cloudy's is facing today? Yeah, great question. So Cloudy's Candies is growing super fast and we're also entering in all these different holiday periods and that's one of the biggest times of growth for them. They get a lot of new customers during that time. And one of the things that sometimes happens is that they get a lot of new customers, but then those customers don't renew. So there's a challenge going on with attrition. And they'd really like to figure out what's causing attrition and how they can reduce attrition and um, engage with those customers to keep them as amazing, you know, Cloudy's Candies customers. The other thing that's a big challenge is that when they get this influx of customers during the holiday periods, oftentimes those customers are not being onboarded properly. Sometimes mm -hmm. it may be because there it's someone buying the Cloudy's Candy subscription as a gift and they're giving it to someone and that contact who ends up with it, they're not like following up on all the different steps so that they mm -hmm. can activate their subscription. Um, and so what we really want to do is figure out you know, what, what can we do to improve that onboarding experience and make sure those customers are actually getting their service. Mm -hmm. So these are issues, you know, the problems you talked about, attrition, so not understanding or not seeing um, when, you know, companies or customers might be moving away from our comp company, right, and we might lose those customers. So we always want to keep all of our customers and we want those customers to be successful and happy, right? Exactly. So the onboarding issue, if we don't have our new Cloudy's Candies customers, you know, completing their preferences, we might send them chocolate when they just want gummies. Exactly. And so we want to make sure that they're onboarded successfully and they have all their preferences filled out, they're communicating with us, telling us what they need. So these are two problems that a lot of companies face, just ensuring that they are retaining business 
ensuring that they're keeping their customers successful. And Cloudy's Candies is also encountering a third problem, which is lack of visibility That's and right. lack of transparency and visibility. They need insights into their company because for a lot of our customers and a lot of companies out there, you want to ensure that you can see what's happening with what part of your organization. They want better metrics and visibility into what types of customers are attracting, what types of customers stay, what type of customer makes the best referral. And so having those sorts of insights and analytics would be really important to their success as well. That's right. So these are three problems that are very typical just in the world of business with lots of different types of companies, not just candy companies. And we are going to start talking about how we can use AI to solve those problems and how we as admins can think about using AI to solve those problems. But before we get started, I don't want to go too fast into what we're going to do with AI to solve the problems because I want to make sure we understand what we say when we say AI. So we're not yeah. talking about robots coming in and filling up all the boxes, are we? What, what, is it, what does it mean <laughs> to think about Cloudy's Candies using yeah. AI to solve their business problems? AI is such a loaded term these days. Like, um, you know, we hear AI and the first thing we often think is like robots um, or, or automation. But there are actually a lot of different things that you can do with artificial intelligence. And one of them, uh, and a very important piece of it, is predicting things. And a prediction is very simple. It's just filling in missing information. So answering a question um, that can help you ultimately better serve your customers. And so in this case, we were talking about Cloudy's Candies having a challenge with attrition and ultimately the missing information that they would like to have is to know which customers are at highest risk of attriting, mm -hmm. um, which customers are at high, highest risk of not going through their onboarding process correctly. Mm -hmm. So that's the stuff that they want to predict, and that's exactly what AI can help them to do. Right, so if we take one of those business problems that you, you're talking about attrition, the way that we as admins can start thinking about applying AI to these business problems is, we know we have this problem, we have a problem of attrition. What is that missing piece of information, that missing item that would help us to solve that problem, right? And you mentioned prediction. And so we're going to go through a worksheet, a Einstein use case worksheet to help us as admins think about how do we take this one problem of attrition and how do we really boil it down to what do we want to predict, how do we understand and think about the implications for our company, and then this is something we can apply to all sorts of business problems. Mm -hmm. So Iori, I know you built this Einstein use case worksheet to help us think about this and understand this problem and start solutioning for this problem. So can you take us through the worksheet? Yes, yes, absolutely. So I get this question all the time, and that question is, where do I start? Generally, once you figure out what AI is and what you can you, and how you can use predictions uh, with your business, you want to know where do you start. You really want to start with defining your use case, defining the problem that you want to solve and how AI can help you solve that problem. So the Einstein use case worksheet is designed just for that, to help you get started very quickly. Um, and so the first thing that it's basically uh, helping you to answer is what would you predict um, with Einstein? And so everything, uh, since all of your data is already inside of Salesforce, you're probably already using it to manage all the various different KPIs that are important to you. In this case, Cloudy's Candies is concerned with attrition. That's a KPI. They're tracking that inside of Salesforce with all sorts of associated data. And so with this worksheet, we're gonna ask the question, um, what question does your business need to answer based on the KPIs that you measure today? And so in this case, we wanna answer which customers are likely to attrit. So now let's create a forward-looking statement to establish our highest business need with these predictions. And we're gonna just fill this in, kinda of like Adlibs. We remember this when we were, when we were kids. If I can predict which customers are likely to attrit, my, my employees will be able to take the right actions to keep those customers, which will bring a higher retention rates to my business. And that's a, that's a great statement. This is a statement that you can use, obviously, with your technical uh, folks who are supporting your business. Maybe you need to ask some questions of your um, data analysts to get more insights around what kind of fields you can use 
to be to that prediction. But you also want to have some conversations with your business stakeholders and make sure everyone is on the same page. And so to make sure that you have all that information, we also have another question here, um, which is what's the value this is going to pro provide to your business? Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately going to point back to uh, increasing your uh, uh, I increasing your retention rates of your customers, which is going to drive more revenue. More revenue is good because it means the solutions that you're building inside of Salesforce with Einstein is helping your business and helping the bottom line. Awesome. Well, this is such a useful worksheet that you've created, Iori, and it really helps me think about how do I look at a problem like attrition and start to understand and start to wrap my mind around what would that solution look like, which is going to be the building block for how we build our predictions in our AI app. So thank you, Ari, and we'd love to see all of you build out your Einstein use case worksheet and share them with us and fill them out for the problem of attrition, but also you can fill as many out as you want and start thinking about other business problems, other business cases that you'd like to solve for and whether it's at Cloudy's Candies or in your own organizations, where would that prediction be useful and start thinking about what would that look like? So with that, we're finished with day one. I look forward to seeing all of your work and back to you, Rebecca. Wow, I loved hearing from Leanne and Ayori about how to think about problem solving with AI. And that worksheet Ayori shared looks like a really great way to get started. So just to summarize, my main key takeaways are that Cloudy's Candies has some serious issues it needs to solve. Uh, it needs to reduce churn, improve its onboarding experience, and increase insight into the business for its executives. Luckily, we can help with this by creating predictions to help users address these business issues and give those executives insight. We can do that using Einstein. All right, so now it's your turn. Fill out the worksheet. You can find it in the Be an Innovator Trail Mix, and then share it on Twitter using the hashtag Be an Innovator, and you'll be able to uh, get entered to win some really fun prizes. Restrictions do apply, so see the rules for details. And join us for video two of Be an Innovator to learn how to gather requirements to ensure you have all the information you need to start building your AI-powered app. See you next time.